Hello, everyone, and welcome to Man Tan, a conversation between myself, grooming expert Theo van den Bruecke, and the Queen of Tan herself, the wonderful Amanda Harrington. Hello, Amanda. Hello, Theo. Lovely to be with you. Well, I mean, not be with you. I know, I know. Well, one day, but at least everyone gets to watch our conversation rather than us yeah. having it in private this way. Um, exactly. like, so I guess a little bit like before we kind of get into the meat of it and the kind of hot topic of tanning for men, it would be great to learn more about you and kind of how you got into this space and kind of where you, what, what your journey has been into tanning. Well, it has actually been with a lot of men um, in the nicest possible way. So I, um, I long time, I started as a painter. I've always had a brush in my hand. So I sort of was the pioneer of tanning with brushes, but before all of that came to fruition, I, yeah, I'm a fine artist. And um, I was going down the 2D canvas route doing fine art and mm. fell in love with being in a life class and fell in love with the body. Right. And I thought I quite like to paint that, I quite like to make that into art. And it was quite a thing. Robbie Williams was doing it on videos like 98, that kind of time. I really remember that with the jeans. With the Right, but there was a lot of body painting going yeah, on. Yeah. Um, and you could see it in fashion, you could see it definitely in, in music videos. I went to Australia, they were far less taboo about body art there. Mm -hmm. And it was a real thing. And then it was a real thing in Austria as well. Then came back and went on feature films. And I don't, you, I don't know if you know a lot about that industry, but it's literally you live I mean, I was living in a monastery by Pinewood for months on end, and it's quite an intense situation. And you're on, you know, you're doing bodies. I was doing, you know, um, special effects. Right. Hours on end a day, trying to make people, you know, look completely different. And it takes a long time. You know, some body painting can take seven hours. Wow. Per session. So oh. that's where I was for a long time doing Troy, Tomb Raider, Bonds. You know, it was all of the big stuff. Right. And then and then I went on tour with male bands and made these little shriveled birds and night owls into rock stars. Um, <laughs> Amazing. Because, yeah, because they're all a little bit pale, to be honest, Ooh. because they don't really see. I mean, they're in hotel rooms. You know, you don't really see that you're in a bus, you're in a plane or you're in a hotel room. Right. And that's it. Of course. Um, and it depends on the band. You know, the bigger the band, they're absolutely in their hotel room. They're not going out. Right. So there's not a lot of vitamin can, D. Can you name any? Can you name any bands? Um, Ripple birds. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to do okay. that. But you'll know them. You'll know them all. That's I don't really know. They're terrible. Enough. I shouldn't call them triple birds. No, 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 no. It's brilliant. Um, <laughs> if I could live on a stinky tour bus, I would. I just love that mm -hmm. armpit smell when you wake up I'm like, mm, yeah, mm -hmm. here we go again, new, <laughs> you know, new city. It's so fun. Yeah. So then, um, but then my, uh, my father died of skin cancer. Oh, and nice. so this is why it's quite poignant that we're talking about this now because May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month and it's Skin Health Week. Um, or skin awareness week at the moment and I know you and I we've just talked about laser um, yes. and getting rid of sun damage so it's a real conversation um, at the moment that I'm having a lot with with people about how to protect your son so that's what I was doing at 24 I was like how can I protect people from that sure right. I mean the stats are insane you know there's people in the US you know people are getting diagnosed there's nine and a half thousand people getting diagnosed with skin cancer every day. God, that's terrifying. It's terrifying. Terrible, uh, you know, two people are dying an hour in the US um, from skin. Wow, it's wow. the biggest form of cancer and you would never know it. No. And I guess it makes sense, obviously, because all of us expose ourselves without even realizing. I mean, yeah. personally, you know, like I have always loved tanning. I've always loved having a tan. There's nothing beyond that feeling of kind of being brown and kind of glowing. And but honestly, I probably haven't been as safe as I should have been until very recently. You know, I'm in my early 30s now. Mm -hmm. Do you see that a lot with men? Does it tend to be a more male thing? Or is it kind of an equal split in terms of that, you know, not understanding why it's so important to be safe? Well, I think you go, you know, with men, 
they are slowly catching up. I think there's a huge demographic of them who, um, I was talking to um, Dr. David Jack about this and about, you know, in Scotland, mm. the sunbed category for men is out of control. And right. he spent most of his time working with the NHS trying to deal with, you know, melasma. Right. Um, melanoma, sorry, melanoma. Um, so it depends on the territory. And I think the UK were very backward, especially, especially for men who are still probably in that, oh, I feel really pale, I'm going to go and jump on a sunbed. Sure. Whereas for women, because they've been led very much more about, you know, from the beauty industry and the skincare category, they're further ahead in their you know, in their routine, in their protocol, they've got, they've got SPF in there, they've got, they're dealing with sun damage, they're dealing with antioxidants. And, and, you know, men are slowly catching up, but you guys have had it tough, because actually, the beauty industry hasn't focused on you as much as I would have loved them to and gone, actually, guys, come on, let's get this, let's get you what you need. You're Mm -hmm. just buying women's stuff. Totally, totally, yeah. and you, and often in a kind of covert way, because it's like, well, this isn't marketed to me, no. so I kind of have to just rush, grab, take, not really think about what I need, what my skin needs. There is that kind of taboo, I guess, around it. Maybe that's shrinking. I mean, you've started your own brand, obviously, um, and you know, looking at the products, there is a certain, um, I wouldn't say, but there's like a gender flu, not fluidity, even there's a new gender neutrality. To totally. Was, totally. That an, was that intentional? Like, Absolutely. I, you know, bodies are not bodies to, well, they are bodies are bodies to me, but bodies are forms, they're canvases that I go, right, well, I just want to change the shape of that shadow, that bit, cinch that bit in, but I'm dealing with skin. So the pandemic for me has been hell because I haven't been with skin. I haven't been with bodies. I want to touch it. I want to be with it, feel it, deal with it. But a lot of my clients are men. They are actors. They are, as I said, you know, they're rock stars. They're whoever they are. So I've been with a lot of men and they're, you know, how the skin reacts to things is totally different to women. Really? Totally different to women. That's really interesting. Women, we're dealing with the hormones. You know, we've got, there's so much going on with a woman's fluctuation of temperature, of, of how they react. To, but men are much more straightforward. But on the whole, you guys are, you know, your pores are larger. Everything's drier. Everything's more dense. Right. So I was absolutely looking at my range and going, well, it's got to fit everyone everyone's different i've got seen thousands of bodies and the skin takes things in a different way so right. how can i stabilize something like fake tan dha which is the ingredient delta hydroxy acid and make sure that it fits with men it blends perfectly it doesn't sit in pores it doesn't smell you guys are going to use it and not feel like you're putting fake tan on and actually what I've seen in the past two years is all my friends who I have you know love you know gifted it to their husbands are texting going man can I can (laughs) can you get me more because I've taken it off her shelf now and so it's gone over and I you know I turned up at my friends the other day with a power with a parcel and Jack said Okay, I'm just going to put that in the bathroom because it then goes on the man shelf. Love that. Love yeah. that. Interesting. I mean, you're just talking about your celebrity clients. I mean, I know that Bradley Cooper is one of yours. And Bradley Cooper is like, you know, in that Hollywood way, he's kind of a man's man, right? I think men really, really like him and probably look up to him. What, you know, how do you approach... Are we, we're, we're able to talk about your relationship with him, right? And how you tan him. Is there is there a specific thing you do? Is there anything that he likes or... Is there something that you see in lots of men that you've seen in him? Do you know what I mean? Let's talk about Bradley Cooper as well. (laughs) They're all amazing. And I think, I don't, I can't obviously express, you know, go into real details, but it depends. What I like is when men are appreciative of the art side of it, you know, and they understand that it's not just color going on. And that's what I really like about, him is that he understands that this changes the way that his body could look for a certain part 
Nice. Um, nice. Or, you know, I mean, in, in LA, I mean, because I do a lot of, you know, a lot of actors, as I said, but in LA, they're much more aware of their bodies anyway. Yeah. So, and obviously, if he's an actor, you know, because he's an actor, he's looking back at himself. Yeah. Of course. Of so course. he'll understand, oh, yeah, that really made a difference. I mean, I did a very famous actor for a UK actor, a male, and I annoyingly can't tell you who that is, but he it's a film and he's on a boat and he's getting more and he's isolated on a boat for a year Brown. and he's getting gradually browner and browner and browner. So I'm tanning him sort of and it's just it's and he's never had a tan before. And it was just this very sweet exchange that we had for the first couple of sessions where I see it a lot where he's very shy whereas LA clients ow I bet I bet well they're used to exposing their bodies aren't they yeah they're just there like yeah where do you want me it's totally different was this a slightly older actor by any chance yes <laughs> I know who it is um no, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's interesting because I can imagine someone uh, you know who is slightly older British slightly of that um reserved classes i mean it is it's a it's a it's a weird thing or it has yeah, of course. Been, it has been a weird thing and breaking down that idea because you know i look at my dad and he's you know in his 80s he's always loved tanning the idea of fake tan to him is very feminine kind of laughable and it's like why so what you're telling me that you'd rather radiate mm -hmm. your face to the point of damage then use a product that gives you exactly the same effect and no damage. I mean, it, it, when you when you break it down, it's absolutely nonsensical, right? And it's like, it's figuring out how to kind of change the tone of that conversation, I guess, is quite important. Well, like, it's a generational thing. I completely yeah. agree with you. Um, and it's trying to make anyone understand that, yeah, you can, you can blast, you can go out and you can get UVA, UVB, UVB is UV burning, right. UVA, UV aging. So you'll see it in two different ways, okay? And you will see it accumulate over the period of your life. So when you're in your 30s and 40s, your collagen is breaking down, your elastin is breaking down, the skin is breaking down from the inside and suddenly it will appear on the dermis. So you'll see freckles, sunspots, lines wrinkles and what are we doing we're trying to fill it all out and repair it but it that could be done in the in a short space of 15 minutes exposure mm. that's how quick acting uv filters are and the argument is oh i need the vitamin d you don't you can get it in a tablet you absolutely can get it in a tablet Totally, totally. I mean, it's mad. Listen, I think it would be great. Tell me. With that Let's... in mind, for us to actually try out the product. So I, I, full disclosure, I've been kind of nervous to do it before I've spoken to you because I want to get it really right. But I mean, we'll talk about the specific products in a second, but I'm very excited to have a full um, tutorial from the, the yes. tan queen herself. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, now I will scare you into submission about... Um... <laughs> <laughs> sun damage we can move on um so the protocol is 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 three is a three step um i or i love packing a dha which is quite scary sometimes into hyaluronics and collagens and aloe vera and make it super 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 hydrating and moisturizing so that's what i do and i love making you look well not light medium or dark that's not where we're at right have you got pads oh my god have i got pads how do you i mean you I've love got, them don't you know, i've got one pad left because i've been using them literally every day They're, they are incredible oh but this is daily, daily cleansing and like um, exfoliation nothing has been better they're also, so glow <laughs> they make you look really glowy too yeah yeah it's brilliant it gets rid, gets rid of all of that kind of um yeah. chalky you know what I mean? Like the, yeah. that up, particularly during lockdown when you were indoors every day and it was dark and yeah. It just and it's really dehydrating indoors because of the radiators and everything sucking you out. So one pad, they're biodegradable in case anyone would like to know that. And I use both sides. So I would do all over to prep 
and they're really good for male um, composition of skin because they will shrink your pores and refine them because they're quite, you know, you've got quite tough skin, you guys. Yeah. I mean, the good thing with them as well, I've noticed is I've, I've had pads like glycolic, glycolic acid pads before um, and they're always so tiny. But these yes, I know. They're so annoying. Reach. It's, it's really good. That, oh, I love you for saying that because that was my one big bugbear. I was like, I do not want to take 50 pads and then oh. flicker them all over my face. So I flip, I always flip it over and then I just use one. That wasn't practiced either, by the way, people. That was, uh, <laughs> that wasn't planned. Um, first step is okay. your perfect face, ultimate gradual tan. You can use this as your daily moisturizer every single day and you'll get a really, really light level glow. It's got DHA in it. So I kind of like mixing DHA into all of the products and then they layer up. So, what, so this, if you didn't wash your hands afterwards, say with this, that would stain your fingers. Barely, but take Barely. the pad, take the pad and wipe it down, or give, yeah, give your hands a wash. It's, it's such an amazing everyday moisturizer. The only thing it doesn't have in it is SPF. So, if you want to put SPF on, put it on before this. Okay, that's good to know. I might do a little bit more. But it's got everything you need in it, and it's, I mean, it's so anti-aging. I put everything I possibly could pack into it to get rid of your fan lands <laughs> feels very nice on i have to say i've got yeah. quite dry skin and some moisturizers tend to be a little bit you know they just don't do the job i know and they don't feel that you want to scratch them off don't you yeah um and then this is the best bit the mist okay so this is our absolute hero our best seller i've got three colors you've got honey Natural honey, yeah. You've got natural honey. I'm going to do natural rose, so I'm going to do one lighter than you. Okay. But natural honey is amazing. It, that's actually built on Californian clients. I built that for Jennifer Aniston was the first to buy that, and I built that on her skin tone. Amazing. Um, and rose. Good enough for Aniston. <laughs> Sorry. Good enough for Jennifer Aniston. It's good oh, enough. Exactly. <laughs> This is your brush. So I think it's quite a good man size brush. It's quite good for your faces. So spritz the brush. That's it, that's enough, yeah, that's it. And then just buff, big circles. Start on the cheek and then work onto the other cheek and all the way around. Keep buffing, go on the nose and then go back to the brush and add more. I woke up this morning, because I, I did a Zoom last night, and I woke up, I went, God, I look good. And I was like, oh, it's the term. <laughs> oh, it's my job. <laughs> oh, oh, it's the term. So just keep, and brilliant thing is, with the brushes, they blend into the hairline, and that's what you, for men, that, that's what they're scared of, is, is the knowing, so just, concentrate on your hairline do i do i do around the eyes as well absolutely go into the eye socket that's it lovely and then feels very nice oh good and it looks illuminating it doesn't it won't feel drying because it has no alcohol in it at all well that right. looks lovely and it makes the eyes pop it just makes you look really well don't forget though we've got to do the neck and oh, the yeah. ears. So I would take another spray and just blend into the neck and do, around. Do we, I think we're going to talk about this a little bit in a minute, but in terms of facial hair, how yeah. do we deal with that? You're doing it right now. There is. This is why these are genius for, for men. The problem yeah. has been for you that you haven't had a brush. So you, I've seen it a lot is you're having these really awful orange lines and no one's figuring out why and it's like well because you can't blend it so if you've got a thicker beard stipple it in just keep stipple uh, you just stipple and go into the beard because it won't it won't flare up color it will just remain the same because I've had it before where I it's weird my my facial hair has gone kind of yeah. almost blonde yes from it and if, I mean, would that happen with this if it's not? No, it doesn't. But that's because you've probably got um, an oil-based serum or it's alcohol. 
and they cling they cling but oh they you look great now let me just do a clever thing you're right yeah um let me just do a cheekbone and i'll explain for men you can do another really clever trick on the forehead and it will because men normally have a wider forehead that that which is much more structured and up than women women are more rounded so you want to even out the the structure of the face and look lifted so i the spray spray a little bit spray yeah and then just tap so if you follow your ear line here yeah yeah so the top of the ear line all the way down that is your cheekbone it's not down here it's there yeah 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 Am I doing yeah. right yeah. yeah and just tap it and then you go up, lift up with the brush. That's it, glide it up, yeah. Concentration on your face is low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, that's beautiful, yay! Yeah, you need, obviously, you'll get into it. Layer by layer by layer. And then you just tap, that's it. And it just gives you a beautiful shape. It's really, really subtle. So sweet, love that. <laughs> like I said, because I had this stupid laser yesterday. Well, not stupid laser, I shouldn't say that. I had laser, so I've got, I look a bit... Yeah. Burnt, yeah but it looks good. Yeah, it looks, it looks great. Yeah. And then you know what I would probably do now, that looks gorgeous, is um, I would take a, a top more. It feels like we're putting loads on everyone, but it, we're, we're really not. They're, it's like a tiny mist. It's like a very fine mist. So I always, with men, I definitely darken down the whole, yeah, that whole temple bit up the top. And that will bring the face in slightly at the top and give you more balance. So like this? Yes. Like that, up there, that's it. There. I love this, because I think that's the fear, isn't it? You know, if you put something on that you can't even see and you're rubbing it in, it's like, oh my God, where are these streaks? Right, you know, that's it. But, you know, even if you apply a little bit too much or whatever, which it doesn't feel like you can, but it means that you get that very light balance and it's great. And the thing is, the good thing is also is that you you know you're not going to get any darker with this. That is it. You're not That's suddenly right. going to be mahogany. That's interesting. In about six hours. That is how you're going to stay and then you're going to shower off and you're going to be the same. Okay. So so if I wash my face now, this would this would come off. Well, it would, yes, you need to develop it. So right. leave it on, but you can, I mean, I, I do it in the morning and then I put a little bit of concealer on and then go out the door. Right. So I do it as part of my morning routine, but you can do it in the evening, go to bed, have a shower and you'll still be that color. Fantastic, love it. It looks great. I'm actually really, cause like I say, I was nervous to do it on my own, but this is, you know, from what I can see, it just looks really kind of healthy and glowy and- yeah. And you can just use it, you know, take a mist, use it on the hands, do whatever you need to. You know, it's just, it blends things completely. This is your favorite body um, when it, it comes to smell, color. Though, does it? It doesn't have that kind of biscuity. Doesn't smell, smell. it won't smell. Anything. No, it won't smell at all. And it definitely won't streak as long as you use your brushes. Um, so that's why I made it in a mini size. So you can uh, yeah. A, hide it in your skincare bag as men. I don't tan. How dare you? <laughs> just perfect, perfectly, gloriously. Um, right. so all times. <laughs> just put a black sticker over it yes. and put it in your bag. <laughs> love it. That's okay. love it. With your little vegan brush. I don't, is it vegan? Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. All yeah. bases yeah. covered. Um, so I guess now that, you know, we've shown everyone how to do it, it would be good. I got some, I put out a thing on Instagram the other day um, and asked for some questions for you from my followers. Oh, great. It'd be great if you would be up for answering some of them. Of course. You've kind of done this one already, but if there's anything to add, then great. But um, the first is, how do you tan your face properly when you have a beard? Um, right. Well, when you have a, okay, it depends on the skin. If you've got a very freckly skin and you've got a beard I would just be mindful of um 
of the of the line so i've got something called ultra balm which is like a barrier cream Okay. And so I would probably just like if it's a really thick beard and there's absolute definition between the skin and the hairline, um, just dot this along the beard, then do your three step as usual. But I'll just I'll know that you wouldn't have any sort of you're not going to, but just to be doubly sure that right. you'll blend, blend, blend. Just for anyone who doesn't fully, isn't fully versed, a barrier cream, I guess, is what it says on a tin. It just creates... It, a, a it stops cream. DHA from clinging. Um, yeah. Not that I just know that my mists won't cling and they you won't get lines because you are buffing in. But if you're extra, extra nervous mm. and you have a very, very, very light skin tone, get that. Okay. But stippling is amazing. Stipple. So don't blend stipple like that and you'll pack colour in if you have a very light faded beard, a bit mm -hmm. like what you do. Yeah. Okay. Um, Especially down here. That's important for men. Don't forget your necks, everyone. I can feel I can just feel really people just doing the face and I'm gonna get I'm gonna freak out about it. So just make sure that you cover off the neck. What about your ears? Yeah, you can absolutely go into the ear, but Obviously, don't spray the brush and go like that. Yeah, I can see that wouldn't Just be Just right. blend it through from the from the cheek, please. Fabulous. Um, the next question is, and you again have, have touched on this, but this is more how to deal with it. When your facial hair gets dyed, that kind of pale orange white colour, is there a way to kind of deal with it that you know of? Probably these. Those, okay. Get they them. are the, the wonder thing, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, I and I guess if you if you get to the point where you want to take off the tan, yeah. this does that job too. These are a dual product. So not only are they a prep stage, they also remove. So if you go and have a really, really bad spray tan or you've done a terrible tan yourself at home with another brand, then buy those and rub it out and it will lift it off. I mean, to be honest, even if even if you're not planning on tanning just yet, these are essential for your skincare routine for sure they're so good yeah um, okay great so women are often told to trim body hair and to wax etc what do men do with body areas that are hairy you know because you tend to get like real proliferations of proper hair i'm not saying me but you know so you know how do you how do you deal with that um i i'm very quick with with an action so um what I would do is, uh, okay, so go easy on cream because that collects. So do a very, very light layer of gradual, uh -huh. like which is the body lotion, the prep sure. stage, the primer, very light layer of that. And then you use your mousse again, with I've got these amazing vinyl gloves because I hate mitts mitts are a no-no for me because they harbor a lot of germs they absorb half your bottle and they're 2d they're flat you cannot move with them and they would be a disaster for hairy chests or a lot of hair on the legs it would be a nightmare what you need to do is definitely use your gloves with some mousse which is like a souffle very light have you got the mousse? It's insane. I have, I have. I've got this all in my bag. So down here, cool. Um, don't worry. It's so cool. I'll just show you. But it's like a, it's just like feather light and it melts into the skin. So if they're doing a chest, they can just, they just melt it on and it just blends in. But this is why these are brilliant for hair because they'll just, if you keep, if you brush up, you can get into the hairline. And then obviously you've got your big, your big baby here and you just buff through and it, it's so easy so easy with body hair amazing okay that's good that's a very good answer um and also i mean you touched on this earlier actually but men do you have to treat male skin differently to how you treat female skin when you're tanning like are, are we much drier i mean you kind of said yeah you're much drier so what i would advise you to do is go easy you do not need as much as women that's interesting um, you you uh, you take color very quickly, so it's quite nice in that respect because some people would be very nervous of even just putting any sort of fake tan on, as we call it. But 
what's safe about this brand for me is that I know there are so many ways to make sure that it doesn't go wrong and right. it just can't go wrong. If that makes, you know, you've got gloves, the, the product and the gloves and the tool will make sure that you don't streak and you just look, it just, it melts into your skin because you have got, it's dry, it's di- it's very dry normally, it's dehydrated, especially on the legs and you you are dealing with hair. So you guys have got some blocks sure. that I've worked around. And luckily I've done a lot of male bods to make sure that it does work. I was going to say, it feels like all of this stuff is very, um, it's very gentle root in. It's kind of, there's no, yeah. there's no harshness. There's no kind of edge to any of it. It's like, this is the way to kind of do it in a soft kind of airbrushed, you know, unnoticeable way, which to me does feel like a very masculine, like approach or a desired approach to kind of sunless tanning, which, which is great. I mean, you know, aside from anything else. Yeah, I so. think it's just getting that mental block out of, you know, as we spoke about earlier, is just don't look at it as it's not for me. It is. It's just part of your routine. It's just making sure that your colour, you just elevate your skin. You look really well. That's all I want you to look. I don't Fabulous. want you to look different. Which I think is a perfect note on which to end. Oh, you've, left, you've left me you've left me looking yeah so you look great lunch that I'm about to go on so I'm very grateful for that oh um, thank you for having me thank Amanda, you. so insightful and really really interesting and I think it kind of I hope has demystified this space a little bit for the men and women watching um and yes. your inspiration in this space so thank you very much any questions anyone ha- anyone has any questions at all, we've got an Instagram, you can message, there's YouTube, there's the dot com, you just ask us and we'll tell you. We're very quick like that. We want you to, we want you to look good. Fabulous. Thank you Thank so you much. Too. Lovely to speak to you. You too. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.